you know what you should do. You should follow me on Twitter at Brummer018. Link in the description. Do it now. Hello guys, welcome along to another FIFA 20 video. Brummer18 here. Thanks for joining me today and to the next installment of a series in which we not only recreate real life systems on FIFA 20 but I also show you how to adapt them slightly so that they will actually work in game and today we are moving continental and we are going to Spain where we cover the Atletico Madrid 4-4-2 a system which has been renowned of Atletico Madrid and Diego Simeone since he joined in 2011 a manager who I think is without a doubt the best in the world in my opinion and it's very um, sort of contentious thing to say but in my opinion it is um, signed sealed and delivered so we're going to show you today how to recreate this 4-4-2 very defensive minded and solid but a system which has brought lots of success to Atletico Madrid uh, and is renowned for making average players fit into a scheme that is world class and successful so we're going to look into it today and I'll show you the, the inner workings and, and how it goes so first of all We've got the 4-4-2 and already we're going to make a change to the formation because here you've got this flat 4-4-2 with two central midfielders, right and left mid slightly higher at the pitch. You actually want to change this to the 4-4-2 holding uh, because what you're going to find is if you play the flat 4-4-2, there's going to be a bit more space between your midfield line and your defensive line. And the way Atletico Madrid is set up is they actually, they're very compact. And that means there's not a lot of space to play in between the lines. And so it's a way to replicate that in FIFA 20 is to change these to holding midfielders. The right and left mid are slightly deeper. So it just makes that more compact and very much more defensively solid. Um, you know, it won't make a difference to the way the players play. You can change it in the instructions, so we will get on to that. Elsewhere, though, the positions, very much um, good. Sometimes they do like to play a 4-4-1-1, uh, which we can get it up here somewhere. So as you can have a cam, but usually it's the, uh, the centre-forward role, like here, for example. But really, um, stick with the striker. You know, we don't need to, um, to change it. Uh, too much. So we go with the 4-4-2 holding and now we move on to the player instructions. Start from the back and work our way forward. So you start with the goalkeeper. In terms of um, saving outside the box, leave it balanced. It's nice and solid, conservative as is the system. But in terms of crosses, you actually want him to come for crosses. And this is where this is sort of slightly adapted for FIFA because you know, Oblak is 91 rated. I think he's the highest rated keeper on the game uh, because he is the best keeper in the world as a result. And so you want him to take control. So in the box when crosses are coming in, the corners, etc., um, you know, you tend to find it favours the goalkeeper quite a lot. So get him to come for crosses, um, you know, and that's going to help you out in the long run. Then we'll move on to the centre-backs. Nice and standard, stay back while attacking, normal interceptions. You want to keep all of the interceptions in this team on normal um, because otherwise it's generally going to drain your stamina too much. Um, there are certain instances where you can change it to aggressive, but in this system it doesn't require it. So keep them all on normal. And then we move over to the fullbacks. So usually what we've done in a lot of these videos in the past is that we've we've moved the fullbacks to um, wingback. But in this system, you don't need to do that because of the way it's set up. You keep them at right and left back, um, and then you want them both on join the attack and overlap. And that's very much the way in which they set up, particularly with someone like Kieran Trippier, who is generally a mainstay, been rotated here and there with Arias, but mainly is Trippier. That's where you know he relishes the most. He likes to overlap the uh, the uh, the wingers and um, get crosses in. He's crossing his ability is very high on this and he's got a lot of curve have a look here 86 86 so um, that's really where he's going to be at his best and you'll find him at his best and that's the defense pretty much sorted not a whole lot to go on there um, and then we move into the midfield and first of all we will start off with the center midfielders so you've got one or the other first of all you've got party sometimes this is uh herrera or it might be lorente coke occasionally comes in to center more to play that role where saul is mainly you'll find it's uh, either party or herrera so we're going to go with party for this example and he is very much more of a defensive minded midfielder he does get forward um you know often but He's mainly there as the anchor man, the sort of, um, you know, the ball winning type player. So with this one on the right, you can have him on the left. It doesn't make too much difference. With this one on the right, though, you want him, um, if he's your defensive man, want to man mark. And that is a case of 
being as tight as possible. You're trying to stop people from playing through you. Um, and so to do that, you mark the man, stop the passing avenues. And then in terms of balanced, well, attacking support, you actually want to change this from balance to stay out while attacking. Now, like I say, he does get forward in FIFA, but because we are slightly adapting this uh, so that it will work, you actually want this man to stay back because he will occasionally still get forward, but the thing is, you've got that more so so solidarity uh, because the other centre midfielder will be bombing on forward. So get him to stay back while attacking, and you also want to change this from cover wing to cover centre to keep that central midfield, um, you know, completely packed and tight whereas if he was covering centre you're going to get him varying off you've already got cover because you've got a, not only a fullback but a wide midfielder as well so in terms of the centre mid having to cover centre and then we move on to the other mid who's more of a box to box man um, and that's going to be replicated in the uh, instructions that we give him so you want to change it to man mark again stick tight to your opponent and that's because they try and stop the um, you know the avenues of of passing and laying the ball off etc so you want him to man mark, but then you want to change him to get forward. And that's how you're going to make a box-to-box -box man um, because he will, as a holding midfielder, you know, do his defensive duties, but he's also going to get forward as well. And Saul and Koke are the two just absolutely ideal for this. They are, you know, terrific, terrific players. Um, so, you know, that will really suit them. And then you want to change their defensive position to uh, cover centre as well, just like Party. No need for them to cover the wing. You've got your two centre midfielders. You want them to remain, um, you know, in that sort of midfield central block. So that's the central midfielders done. And now we move on to the wingers. So the left midfielder and right midfielder will have different instructions depending on who they are. So for example, we're going to go with Koke and Lamar in this instance. Uh, this can change and I will show you uh, how it changes after. So with Lamar, he's going to play out the all-out winger role. So one, he's going to come back on defence. That's very self-explanatory. The wingers do get back. They have them two banks of four, which is so important. And a striker coming back as well. So you want him to come back on defence um, and then you also want him to uh, get into the box for the cross and that's something that you'll see often a lot if you're watching Atletico Madrid. They like to get into a lot of crossing positions, particularly with the fullbacks uh, and so it's not just the two strikers who are there you know, offering that support. You're also going to get a winger coming in from the back post as well and maybe occasionally um, you know, centre midfielders, you'll see that often um, on top of that. But in terms of these, you actually want them on balance. And the reason being is that you'll often see someone like Thomas Lamar, um, you know, doing both. Um, he can stay wide, and that's something that, you know, he does do often. But also there'll be times when, say, they're trying to overload the central areas of the park um, and, you know, maybe control the play a little bit more, uh, you'll find him cutting inside. So that's why you want to actually leave it on balance. And the same with this as well, um, on balance, because... Um, not only are you going to see it replicated in the tactics as well, but also um, you'll find that they're they're, ver they're varied. They're, they they can do a variety of things. Athletic coverage, and that's what is so um, you know unique about their system. So you know maybe if you want to change it personally to come short or get in behind, uh, depending on the the system that you are employing. If you're behind or you're chasing the game, um, etc. But I believe leave it on balance because then you're going to get a wide variety and that's going to be replicated in the way they play. Um, now, so that's the winger. But then we move over to the right midfielder. And let's say it's Koke, for instance. It's a little bit different. So you want him to come back on defence for a start. But then you also want him to play more of a central midfielder role. Koke is an out-and-out winger. He does play on either side. But, you know, he's more of a central man. He prefers it in the centre. So on chance creation, what you want him to do is you actually want him to cut inside and also come short. And what happens here is that he, he essentially plays the role of a third central midfielder, tries to crowd out, um, you know, them central areas. And then that gives space for Trippier to overlap and be more attacking minded. So he actually works a lot and it gives the fullback, the opposition left back in this case, um, you know, sort of the dilemma of do I follow on and do I stay in my zonal area? Um, and then cre creates a little bit of problems for the um, the opposition's defence. So in terms of Koke, cut inside and come short, and also get into the box for uh, for crosses as well. Now it will be a little bit different if you've got someone else. So let's say for example you've got Angel Carrera, who will sometimes play. We'll put him there. Uh, then just going to change a little bit. You actually want him to get into the box across, come back on defence, but you want to change his back um, to uh, to balance both ways. So like the Lamar, um, you know, instructions as well. 
We're actually going to change it back to Koke um, for the uh, for the sake of this. So um, yeah, you want to stick with those those instructions for him. And then we move on to the two forwards. So you've got your one target man, and you'll have Yao Felix, who um, you know he's more of your, your mobile guy. So first of all, we'll start with the target man. Um, actually thinking here, if you're playing Koke on the right and you've got those instructions set on him, you actually want to swap these around just because um, Felix will give you a little bit more width because he's getting in behind and he's going into those um, you know those areas with space. So moving on to the right, so we'll start with the target man first. And what you want him from him is to, uh, one, change his attacking runs to target man. He's going to hold at the ball. He's going to play with his back to goal. It's very much how Costa um, you know, likes to play. And also stay central as well. Felix is the one who's going to be doing um, you know, the running, as I say. So Costa is that focal point, that out ball, so to speak. And then in terms of defensive support, you actually want him to stay forward. So what happens is, is they have their two banks of four, and then they'll have another striker coming back to help out the support. Costa gives them that out ball, and it should be the target man, because he's the one who can hold at the ball. Whereas Felix has got a lot more energy, a lot more pace, so he can do the tracking back and then get in behind after. So you want him to stay forward, whereas with Yao Felix, um, what you want is, for one, getting behind and then also to come back on defense so they like to complement each other and that's very much how the system works you tend to find a lot of issues when there's people say um, when you say costa and Morata up front together um you know it doesn't quite work as well Morata has got a little bit of pace but it's not quite the same effect as someone like felix of course they're trying to replace antoine griezmann from last season so you know felix is pretty ideal for that um, so this system, or this mixture, should I say, a partnership, just works out better in the long run. So that's the instruction sorted. Now we move on to the tactics. And what you want to do here is for defensive style, you actually want pressure on heavy touch. Now, there's a common misconception amongst people about Athletic coverage that it's automatically dropped back. Well, it's not quite the case. What happens is on pressure on heavy touch is that they will still drop back. They'll get behind the ball and they'll be defensive. But the the, the um, difference is, is that in those moments where there is a loose ball or um, you know the opponent takes a heavy touch, etc., they aren't afraid to try and press in that moment. Um, but it's calculated. It's about risk calculation and um, whether it's worth that. And that's how it is. It's all about intelligence. Um, and so pressure on heavy touch is the way you actually want to set up because it doesn't make you extremely passive. It still gives you that little bit of edge when there's a mistake from the um, from the opposition. In terms of uh, defensive width, you want to lower this down to two, of course. To be solid, you have to be narrow. You can't let the opposition play through you. It's just the way it is. Um... You know, and especially on FIFA, you're going to get so many people trying to run in behind and stuff um, and run through you. You want to stay um, stay narrow as possible. Drag your midfielders out. When you are, you know, facing someone who's trying to get it out wide, don't drag your defenders all over the place. Keep them compact in the fort unless you absolutely have to bring out a fullback. Try and drag your midfielders out instead. Instead, if you've got an opposition left winger, for example, and he's in a crossing position, try and drag your right midfielder out to him rather than bringing out the right back. That's how they play, and that's how they keep it as solid as possible. Remember that in this system, you've got to try to play, um, you know, the same way. You've got to try and replicate how it actually works. So, you know, don't be too aggressive. In terms of depth, you want to lower this down to four. The reason being is that it doesn't go too deep, and as soon as it becomes three, um, then it goes to, uh, you know, to a very deep back line. Whereas four, you've still got that kind of mid block. Um, and yet you're still remaining compact and you're not dropping off too much to give them opportunities on the edge of the box. So four is round about um, you know, the right spot. And then we move on to uh, offensively. Um, in terms of the offensive style, you want balanced. And the reason being is that as I've emphasized already in this video, they're versatile. They can do a mixture of things and this will allow them um, to, to, to do that, to employ that in this game. The thing is that you've also got the likes of Koke on instructions coming short anyway, so it's going to have those um, you know, possession-based sort of elements in the actual individual instructions. So this offensive style on balanced um, you know, will complement that. In terms of the um, offensive width, you want to keep this on sixth. The reason being is that you've got a bit of a varied, again, a varied style. The width comes from the likes of the fullbacks, but also um, you know, your wide men 
depending on who they are. Lamar, um, in this case, we can think of. Um, so with whip six, you've got that, not only that, you know, sort of, players getting out wide but also you've got people creating space for people to run into and again space is very important for Atletico Madrid and it's something they like to take advantage of they like to control the space they like to create the space so width being on six will roundabout work and in terms of players in the box you want to move this up to six as well um, and then you've got about three people in the box so you've got the strikers and then you might have uh, either a winger or a centre midfielder coming in um, so it'll give you three options in the box and then in terms of corners and free kicks what we always do in all of these videos is move these up to four because what it will do it will give you enough options in the box ahead the ball it'll put around six players in there uh, you obviously got the one taking the corner you'll have two players back and then one um, on the edge of the box and I think that's a very standard and very good setup to have so that is the tactics pretty much rounded off now and the instructions as well and um, I guess that's really it, guys. If you've got any questions about the, the system, anything you want to know, be sure to, uh, to let me know in the comment section. Ask me and I'll uh, do my best to get back to you and answer any questions you may have. Um, absolutely love this system. Really enjoyed, you know, um, recreating it again on FIFA. And there's a lot more to come. I've got so many suggestions. Keep do leaving your suggestions in for tactics you want to see recreated. I try and get around to them. Trust me, I've had so many suggestions. I've got a massive list written down, and I'm just trying to work my way through them. So um, you know, do please be patient. We are trying to get through as much as possible. But on that note, we are going to finish it off there. If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe to the channel for more regular gaming content. Um, don't forget to check out the rest of these videos of this series where we recreate tactics, and also my AC Milan career remote series as well and i know we are going to finish it off there thanks so much for watching and i'll see you for the next one Come on.